Welcome to Life Lessons. What have you learned? Number two with the Yaba Jean. Tehillim, Psalms, chapter 37, verses 23 through 25. The steps of a good man are ordered by Yahuwah, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for Yahuwah upholds him with his hand. I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Be thankful for Yah's provision. That is a lesson that I have learned, especially during this point in time. When I look around and I see people uh, that have lost their job, they don't have money, they don't have food, they don't have the essential things that they need. But in this point in time, me and my family have been provided for by the Most High Yah, and I am truly thankful and grateful for His provision. There's something that we've got to remember to do to say thank you to the Most High Yah and remember, you know, what He has done for us, what He has provided for us, because there's so many people who don't have what they need. So before you get ready to, you know, moan and groan and complain about what's going on, be thankful for what the Most High Yah has provided for you. As one of his people, as one of his children, be thankful, be grateful, have an attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for Yah's provision. Philippine, Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto Yah. And the peace of Yahuwah, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Mashiach Yahusha. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Be thankful for Yah's peace. In this day and time where people are depressed, stressed, and full of anxiety, as the people of the Most High Yah, we can be thankful for His peace. Not the peace that the world gives, but Yah's peace that passes all human understanding. In other words, when it seems like the world is going to hell in a handbasket. The people of the Most High Yah can still have his peace. When people around you don't understand how you can stay calm, cool, and collected with everything that is going on in the world around us, you can point to the peace of the Most High Yah and be thankful for it. I have learned to be thankful for the peace of the Most High Yah, to be in my right mind, to be able to mentally, you know, deal with what is going on all around us and not, you know, sink into a, a place of depression and oppression. Because there is a lot of people right now that are going through that, that mentally and emotionally they can't take what is going on. But when you have the peace of Yahuwah, which passes all understanding, you can, you can be calm. The, the spirit of anxiety doesn't have to take over your life. 
The spirit of depression doesn't have to take over your life when you are a, a functioning and have the peace of Yahuwah. See, we, we can be careful for nothing because we can take everything, all of our requests to the Most High Yah in prayer. We know where our help comes from. So the same place where our help comes from, that's where our peace comes from. And we've got to be thankful. And even after that, as you have the peace of Yahuwah, you can keep your mind on the things that are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, virtuous, and praiseworthy. Hallelujah. See, when you're doing that, when you have your mind on the right things, on the things of Yah, that's when you can flow in the peace of Yahuwah. So right here is a formula to help you to keep your mind right, <laughs> to help you to keep your the peace of Yah flowing through your life, no matter what is happening, no matter what is going on in the world system. We don't have to succumb to that spirit of panic and, and anxiety and worry and fear when we are flowing in the peace of Yahuwah. Be thankful for Yah's peace. Tehillim, Psalms 91, verses 1 through 5. He that dwells in the secret place of El Elyon shall abide under the shadow of El Shaddai. I will say of Yahuwah, he is my refuge and my fortress, my Elohim, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flies by day. Tehillim, Psalms 91, verses 6 through 10. Nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made Yahuwah, which is my refuge, even El Elyon, your habitation, there shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. Tehillim, Psalms, chapter 91, verses 11 through 14. For he shall give his angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall you trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Tehillim Psalms chapter 91 verses 15 and 16. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my Yeshua. Be thankful for Yah's protection. Each and every day, 
that you wake up and that you come home from work, the, the grocery store, or wherever it is that you have gone outside of your house and even inside of your house throughout the day and the night at any time of the day. If you're still here with the blood running warm through your veins, that's the protection of the Most High Yah. We can't take that lightly or loosely. There are people who were on this earth just a few minutes ago and now they're gone just like that. Be thankful for the protection of the Most High Yah. There are people just like that. They are gone. All different types of ways. They are no longer here. Whether it's been that somebody killed them, brutalized them, or whether they were, you know, something happened to them while they were in the hospital and somebody did something to them that caused them to be harmed or even to not be here anymore. Some people are getting brutalized. They're still here, but they are getting brutalized. They are getting harassed. And if these things are not happening to you, be thankful for the protection of the Most High Yah. Be thankful uh, for every single time that you or and your spouse, and if you have children, your children make it back home safely. Be thankful that for every night that you're laying down and you're going to sleep and nobody is barging in your household and harassing you or stealing from you or, or at the very worst, murdering you or killing you. Be thankful for Yah's protection. Be thankful for the... the Yah's angels who are encamped around your bed at night. Be thankful for the for the angels that are encamped around your houses at night, your apartment building, wherever you may live. Be thankful for Yah's protection. For that hedge of protection that he has placed around you and your family and your loved ones. Be thankful for Yah's protection. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it loosely. The people of the Most High Yah are under continuous attack. So if you make it home, or if you have been home all day long, and there has been no trouble, no harassment, nobody coming to your to your house tormenting you. You went out and to buy groceries and essential items at the grocery store and you made it there without and made it back home without any hurt, harm, danger, accident or incident. Be thankful for Yah's protection. Be thankful for Yah's protection. Pray this song over you and your family. Do it on a daily basis. This is not, this is not a joke anymore. It never has been. But if you took it for granted, Yah's protection, I pray that you're not taking it for granted anymore. And be thankful. Tell them, thank you, Abba Yah, for protecting me. Thank you, Abba Yah, for protecting my family. Thank you, Abba Yah, for watching over us and watching over our property and the things that you have blessed us with overnight. Thank you, Abba Yah, for bringing us back home safely. Thank you, Abba Yah. Thank him for all of the times. Maybe you, you were in the hospital. Maybe you had to go to the doctor. Maybe you had a, a surgery or procedure and you came out of it 
and you didn't have any complications. Everything went fine and you're on the mend now. You are recovering now. Be thankful for Yah's protection because there are some people that go into the hospital for, for minor things and they come out with, you know, all messed up physically. Some people don't make it back home. And if you've made it back home and now you are recovering, that's Yah's protection at work. Be thankful for Yah's protection. Have an attitude of gratitude. Lift up your hands in praise and worship and say, thank you, Abba Yah, for protecting me. Thank you for protecting my family. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you. Hallelujah. I know there are times that somebody almost hit me on the road. And I we just I just miss being in an accident. Thank you, Abba Yah, for protecting me while I'm driving on the on the highways and the byways. Thank you, Abba Yah. All of the different ways that he protects his people. That he protects you, that he protects your husband, your wife, your children, your extended family members. The other people that you are connected to and that you fellowship with that are in the truth, that are in the faith. And they're still here with us. Say thank you, Abba Yah. For protecting all of them. This is something that I'm really, really thankful for. Because when we see what's happening in the world today to our people. We have a lot to be thankful for. When we make it home. And we live to see another day. It's not even an exaggeration. That he is, you know, guarding us. He is a, a strong tower for us. He is a refuge for us. He is guarding us as the apple of his eye. He is hiding us under the shadow of his wings. Hallelujah. Be thankful for Yah's protection. Hallelujah. So when you think about, you know, taking something for granted or you feel like you don't have anything to be thankful for, you think about the fact that you're still here. You think about the fact that you were able to go to the store, come back, and there was no harassment. There was nobody there beating you upside your head. You didn't get in an argument nor fight with somebody. You didn't get stopped while you were driving in, the, in your car and minding your own business. And nobody stopped you because they felt as though they needed to find out who you were and where you were going and you weren't doing anything illegal or wrong. Be thankful for Yah's protection. I know I pray all the time, every time my, my family members leave the house. I'm praying every day for Yah's protection. I plead the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach over them. And I speak Yah's protection over all of you who are listening and watching this video at this time. And I'm thankful for his protection over you and your families. Hallelujah. How he's watching over you. Hallelujah. And that he's keeping you safe. And the things that may be taking place in the lives of others is not happening to you because you're under the umbrella of Yah's protection. Hallelujah. Thank him today. Honor him today. Praise him. Worship him for his protection. Hallelujah.
Y'all will take care of you. Y'all will provide for you. Y'all will protect you too. Y'all will. Y'all will. Y'all will never leave you. Y'all will not forsake you. Y'all will be there for you. Y'all will, y'all will lift up your eyes into the hills from which comes your help. Your help comes from Yah. Be thankful for Yah's peace, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Yahushua HaMashiach. Peace that comes from Yah, and not the peace the world gives. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Be thankful for Yah's peace, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Yahushua HaMashiach. Peace that comes from Yah, and not the peace the world gives. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Be thankful for Yah's peace, which passes all understanding. Shall keep your heart and mind through Yahushua HaMashiach. Peace that comes from Yah, 
and not the peace the world gives let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid be thankful for yah's peace which passes all understanding shall keep your heart and mind through yahushua hamashiach peace that comes from yah and not the peace the world gives let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid be thankful for yah's peace which passes all understanding shall keep your heart and mind through Yahushua HaMashiach. Peace that comes from Yah and not the peace the world gives. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Be thankful for Yah's peace. Be thankful for Yah's peace. Be thankful. For Yah's peace, be thankful. For Yah's peace, You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked.